you can change the header of your website and the header area being this area here where we've currently got our our title um, uh, because the header contains information about your blogger site such as the title the description and contains the header image you can put an image in place of the title which could look more professional and here's how you do it step number one go to the blog overview page which is what you're looking at the moment step number two on the left hand side of the page click the word layout step number three look for the header gadget with the word edit then click the word edit so it says here's the title my first blogger site and we know it's the header widget because it says header there we're going to click edit uh, on that particular page so a step number four a pop-up window will appear and you will be prompted to edit the title of your site if you want to that will change permanently well for the time being change the title of your site but we'll keep it the same for the time being and you can add a description if you want to yeah, you don't have to edit the title of your site if you don't want to. You can achieve the same outcome by visiting the relevant section of the settings page of your blog overview if you want to do that. But we're just going to leave all of that the same. Step number five, to add an image to your header you need to have an image prepared and you can create one using Microsoft Paint or another art software uh, package which you should do now. So I'm going to go ahead and open Microsoft Paint uh, and I want the header to be now this is a bit of a, an art form judging the size of uh, the image that you're going to have in place with the uh, header and I will give you some specific sizings for specific templates later on but for the for the time being just need to create a, a shape that looks like that and here we are going to create uh, a title and we can change the format of that but let's just keep it with Arial um, I'm going to change the sizing because I want it nice and big and I also want to have some arrows in there just so you can get an understanding of size uh, of the image okay so I'm just going to make that a top smaller again I'm going to save it as a PNG so save as PNG I save it to my desktop and I'm going to keep that as header image click Save so I can go ahead and close that now so uh, going to keep that in place that's all done the magic and now I'm going to uh, they've got some options down here about placement now I can either put the image behind the title and description instead of the title and description or have a description placed after the image or you can have it shrink to fit I am going to use instead of title and description and I'm going to browse and have a look down Fabicon header image click open so it is now uploaded to the website and remember I've got it instead of the title and description so it should cover up the title that was there before click Save and then I'm going to view the blog to see what that looks like and there you can see the image has been inserted into the top of um, my website there so you can see how we can customize the very top part of that uh, page so when you're happy with that you can just save all of that and move on to the next video